Hello, everyone, and welcome once more to Playing by the Pound. We have a short little joke of a project. Well, not really a joke. It's probably somebody just put this together real simply. It's made by Over, or Orv, and the description reads, An exceptionally basic and simple game of multiple kobolds trying to lay down traps and inflate and pop each other. Try to be the last one staying. Or wait, did I write that description? I think I wrote that. I think I wrote that description of this readme file. Well, regardless, that is the description. Kobolds try to pop each other via inflation. It's very short. There's not much to it, but it's a music I wanted to show it off. So let's do that. Also, the music playing, because the game has no music, is a random forgotten song from my from the depths of my of my music folder that I can't even source anymore. But it's a good song, so I'm gonna play for this. Uh, of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. And if you want to help out immensely, I'm trying to reach partner. So if you want to come by Twitch, add to that view count, lurk, talk, whatever you want to do, think about coming by because I'd love to have you. And it honestly would be a world of difference to have even one more viewer on every single stream. So think about coming by. Um, we'd love to have you. Also, we have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. And I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. All links are in the description, so check them out at your leisure. Now, let's just fire this up. There's no tile screen, that's why I just kind of began the intro like this. Let's play. This is this is game. We are blue kobold. We move with Wasson. We, we click where we want to throw something. We throw traps. Uh, now, the weird... This game is actually kind of interesting. If it was developed more, I'd be really into it. Uh, we throw traps... The traps lay down. We can stand in our own traps and get inflated by them. We can also inflate the others with our traps. Here's the thing. If we get a bit inflated, like, if, let me go ahead and make myself big bigger. Oh, right. So, okay, so, so they're starting to burst. So, when the cobalt bursts, it turns to a ball. And, uh, it, it can, it can recover from that after a short period of time. But if the ball, if they're, if while in a ball, they fall off the ledge, they lose. That's how it works. So, basically, if they, if they turn into bubble, if they pop, pop into ball, they're not out until they fall off. It's actually a kind of cool I game idea. But if I, but here's the thing, your traps get bigger if you are yourself inflated. Oh, I overinflated. Off I go. Recover, recover! Oh, I'm dead. I'll have to go another round. We'll see where it ends between red and teal. How do you scale? Like I said, you pop them and try to pop them when they're near a ledge so they fall off and die. It's actually a pretty cool game concept. I like it. And part of the reason I like it is that the, the popping isn't fatal. They just turn into a bubble. They just turn into a bubble of inflationiness until they can recover. As you can see. Can you just turtle and not grow? I mean... You could, but your attacks are weaker if you don't have a bit of weight on you. So it's, it's kind of a good idea to be a bit big. So who's going to win between these two? It's very basic, just very clearly like a little whip project that, as far as I can tell, didn't go anywhere. Interesting thing though, this over person who made this game, they actually made a more full-fledged thing that's actually more based. Also 3D. I thought it was pretty cool, but I can't show it sadly because despite it not having anything to do with the gameplay, the characters are kind of explicitly nude, unfortunately, so I can't share it. It's actually a really cool game, but yeah. It's weird though because nothing about the gameplay really capitalizes on that. It's just like, ah, Yes, titties and genital details. Excellent. We really needed this for this game. Like, it just feels really unnecessary. <laughs> it's just, oh, this character needs to be sexy while they exist play doing their gameplay for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, okay, cool. Okay, do you guys even want to... Are you guys even fighting anymore? What are you doing? <laughs> they kind of just... I don't know. <laughs> guys, come on. At this rate, it's more likely that Till's gonna step on their own trap rather than anything else. All right, who's gonna win? Come on, <laughs> one of you, win one of you, one of you, do something, please. Yeah, Till's just kind of hitting themselves <clears throat> at this point.
They call the truce one up here on YouTube for a bit more. So I, I guess this lets us study the different sizes, though. So obviously, as the kobold thing inflates, you know, they say they're kobolds, but like their tails remind me of like a, a septile. Uh, but as they get bigger, they just get bigger and bigger. Oh, oh, red one! <laughs> Good work, red. There is no ending to this. This is a very basic game. Does the free cam work on this version? What? There usually is one if the dev didn't remove it. Uh, you know what? You have a point. <clears throat> I do have a code injector. Hold on a minute. L let me try something. Also, let me restart the game because when winner is you, Red. <clears throat> let me go get the uh, free cam injector thing that I have. I I'm, I have it for Spyro, but to be fair, it works on. Most Unreal Engine games, so let me give it a shot, actually. Just a moment. Alright, let's see. Where did I put that program? It's buried away in my games folder. I see to find it. My slightly messy games folder, I should say. Ah, oh, here it is. The console ejector. There it is. Okay. I believe I launched this. Also, sit tight while I check something, too. Might be a different button because of different keyboard layouts. It's possible, but I think you're right. I think it'll work. You won't see the game for a second while I set this up, but let's see if I can. Because it would be kind of nice to zoom in on these little models. Alright, cool. Let's see if this actually works. It seems to work. Let's see if it agrees with the, the key bindings are... Okay, hold on a second. Uh, C to enable disable camera. Oh my. Well, it definitely did something. Okay, I think it. I think I can make it work. Actually, yes, it does work. It's just very awkward about it. Okay, good. I'll, okay, I'll I'll turn on the display for you guys. As soon as I restart the game, I think. <laughs> I think it's being a little wonky because... Alright, the injector is very bizarre. I need to close the injector to close the game. Is that how it works? I don't remember. Yeah, there it is. Okay, we're good. It's very, very wonky, but it totally works, so... Here's gameplay again. I'm just gonna try to... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna try to win. I'm mirror, I'm blue. So I'm gonna try and not die this time. Cool. I got very big, but I can attack big too. Okay, green's out. Red is, yep, red's out. <laughs> ah, stuck on tail. <laughs> ah! Oh no. It also is a pretty cool concept for a game. I feel like this could be expanded upon. Imagine, like, multiple arenas, and, like, you could have jump- like, there's no jumping or anything, but imagine multiple arenas, projectiles, and it's like... It's all about... You know, kind of mining your location of the arena, and try to- it's all about ring out, so it's actually kind of like Smash Brothers, when you think about it. Where damage attacking is beneficial, but the ultimate goal is to ring them out. Actually, not a bad concept for a game. I don't think this is going to be expanded on by the developer of this game, but... I could see this working if somebody wanted to produce something sort of interesting. I'm amazed that guy did not actually... 
burst yet. Okay, there he goes. And Teal's out of there! Let's get now yellow. Yeah, yellow's out. Okay, cool. We win. <laughs> I think I'm talking about this using a different program. This is a dev feature for testing. You mean under tilt? Actually, is it a tilt window thing? Actually, okay, tell me then, Yam. What is the feature called? How do I work? How do I work it? I have a console injector if that doesn't work, though. Yeah, yeah, man, what is it? Press this and then press tab? Mm, tab does nothing with the console up. What do you want what do you want me to type in the console? I, I, I know you're talking about the console. What do you type in the console? The console's not up. What? Okay, then you say tap the button that makes the apostrophe character? Okay, okay, that definitely did something. And then tab? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. So here's what these guys look like. I think they're, they're like paint creatures. Also, I don't remember Cobalt's having four arms, but, you know. Squishy, squishy paint sounds. Are they still fighting down there out of curiosity? What are, what are they doing down there? I don't know. <laughs> That's a lot easier than using the code, code injector I have. Nicely done. I like how they glow. Yeah, it's like a weird skeptile kind of tell. And like four arms. I don't know what these things are. They're paint bolts, I suppose. Kind of makes the old poppy thing a lot more harmless. They're just. They're goo creatures, clearly. Now, if I were to. I fight myself a little bit. Did I get chalkier or did I not get chalkier? I don't know. Hard to tell. I think you just get bigger. However, when you do get to the point of no return, you do indeed. Big. <laughs> you can see if I... Is there a way to pause, by the way? Is there a way to pause processes, yeah, with this uh, console stuff? Yes! Yes, there is. Pause works, in fact. So let me make myself nice and big, and I'll pause. I have a particle on top, maybe that's fine. Oh, pause also pauses spectator mode. That's fine. Hold on. The injector does prove useful then. If I activate it like this. I said if I activate it like this. Thank you. It was like not running. Okay, there we go. And inject and. Okay. Now if I hit C now, yeah, okay, good. I had a feeling that this would probably work with the pause, and I was right. So let's look at this heck and chonker. The booty. <laughs> now this cam is a little more janky, but that's okay. I think we can appreciate that. They look quite good before they explode. <laughs> I know it's only a single texture creature, but I still like it. Really impressive how their crotch glows, huh? <laughs> Big boy. Honestly, it's useful that we discovered this stuff because it's going to be beneficial for the thumbnail. Heckin' Chonker. 
And then look at the smile. They're always smiling a little bit. See that? Hey. <laughs> Even when they're about to pop. Because it's okay. It doesn't hurt them. They can come back from it. Look at this. T look at this heck and tell, too. It's very good. It's very good. Now, if I unpause. Or can I not? Pop. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's winning. That's how you win. You just, you just... Yep, okay, then we fell to the void. There we go. And that's all there is to it. Not much to this game. But it is amusing. And it's a good concept. Honestly, I'd love to see somebody build on this. Anybody with 3D game dev development? Honestly, you could do this in 2D as well, but... I feel like this is a lovely little inflation arena idea that somebody should build off of. <laughs> the idea of like attacking people with bloat traps and then they pop into a ball and then they can escape. They can recover from that, but they might roll off a ledge and lose. So that's always the, like, I like that extra little aspect. It's not just pop somebody and they lose. It's pop somebody and then they fall off if they're unlucky and then they lose. Because then you could like plan like, oh, I don't want to be near the ledge, I'm kind of big. But also, when the bigger you are, the more damage you deal, the bigger traps you place. Like, I mean, look, here's a good comparison. Here's the smallest trap you can place when you're not in, at all inflated. And over here is the biggest trap you can place when you're almost about to pop. So there's a definite risk reward to it. It's just a good concept. It's a good, it honestly is a good gameplay concept. There's, this is a very simple little build, just showing it off, but it could be taken further. Definitely could. But in any case, that was Burst Bolts. I hope you guys enjoyed the silly little. Let's let's. You know what? Hold on. Let, as I as I finish up here, as I finish up an outro, let's run it one more time. Let's take one more bet. Who's gonna win? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna disqualify myself. Who's gonna win? Take your bets on on round three here, the last round. And uh, but yeah, it's a cool cool little idea. This developer saves. Whoa, that one paint bit just. Jumped right off that guy, really far up in the sky. <laughs> oh, yellow! Ooh, yellow recovered nicely. <laughs> yeah, I like I like the designs. Actually, I like the how this they're like goop creatures. They're like just goop creatures, which makes sense why they can survive popping. <laughs> I could see this being something that people would enjoy. <coughs> Not just in a furry audience, too. I feel like this could be a good gameplay concept for, you know, a proper Steam release, too, even. <laughs> uh, you know, with a slight improvements to the AI, so they actually try and don't just randomly stumble into traps. They might be doing that intentionally to get bigger traps, I'm not really sure. Oh, that- Teal's gone. Goodbye, Teal. <laughs> Teal's end was nigh. I like how everybody has bet on- uh, Yellow- actually, Yam, Yam- Yam's bet is the only one still standing. I realize I didn't bet, that's okay though. Oh, Yellow, are you okay? Are you gonna recover, Yellow? Yellow did not recover! I feel like- I feel like when they're in ball form, I feel like sometimes you can recover from that quickly and sometimes you can't. Anyways, Pink is the victor! Um, I feel like when you're in ball form, like, I don't know how you recover. It's kind of weird. There seems to be a mechanic there as far as, like, what determines how fast you can recover, but I don't really know what it is. <laughs> Pink is on my color. Pink is a good color. Good work, Pink! Let's zoom in up. Actually, let me, let me, uh... Do, do... Oh my goodness, what did I just turn on? Oh, that's cool! Oh, we're looking at the Easy AI controller. Look at that. That's This is its pathfinding. Neat. It's like this... So there's like squares. And it's like, okay, I'm in this square, now I want to go to this square. And it goes to that square. Okay, cool. I just wanted to zoom in on the walkie, walkie bite boy here. What's he doing? Ah! Pop. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Well, 
Nobody wins! Hooray! <laughs> but yeah, that was Burst Bolt. It's not much, but it was fun to show it off all the same.